Well, good afternoon. On this lovely autumnal day in North Texas, this is the Reverend Jason Van Borsum of St. Mark the Evangelist Anglican Church in Waxahachie, Texas, coming to you with a very brief reflection today on Halloween. Tomorrow is, of course, Halloween. Uh, traditionally, when uh, young folks and some not so young dress up as ghoulies and ghosties and go from door to door asking for treats uh, that they may be persuaded not to perform a trick. Well, you'll notice in the description of this video, I said Halloween, a Christian holiday? Yes, yes, Halloween, which is a shortened form of uh, uh, All Hallows Eve or All Hallows Even, that is the eve of the Christian holiday of All Hallows or All Saints, which is celebrated on November 1st. So while All Saints, the Feast of All Saints, celebrates all the extraordinary women and men of the Christian faith, throughout 2,000 years of history, and November 2nd, which is called All Souls Day, commemorates all the faithful departed, where exactly does that leave All Hallows Eve, or Halloween? Where, well, Halloween marks the beginning of this three-day festival, and because it is a festival honoring the dead, Many rich cultural traditions have grown up around the feast, such as lighting candles. This is where the tradition of jack-o'-lanterns comes from. As the days shorten and the nights grow longer, many cultures designated this time of year as a kind of thin place, if you will, where the distance between the earthly uh, world and the spirit world is not so great. In short, all Hallows' Eve and All Saints' Day is a way for the living and the dead to come together to celebrate with those on another shore in a greater light. So this year, as we celebrate All Hallows' Eve and Halloween, be safe, practice social distancing, all the public uh, health uh, uh, recommendations, but remember when you're bobbing for apples and dressing up and all of that, that Halloween, All Hallows Eve, is and always has been fundamentally a Christian holiday. Isn't it interesting that so many so-called holidays on the secular calendar have been appropriated by secular society from the liturgical calendar of the church? Christmas, St. Patrick's Day, St. Valentine's Day. I think it's time for atheists and secularists to come up with their own holidays instead of uh, appropriating and corrupting holy days of the Christian year and the liturgical calendar of the church. But that's just me, because I'm biased. Anyway, happy Halloween. Hope to see you all in person at 10 a.m., Sunday, November 1st, in Waxahachie, as we celebrate the Feast of All Saints. God's peace and God bless you today.